today we will start a new chapter okay and the chapter is 12 and the name of the chapter is reproduction in plant okay so let's start so here first of all we will learn the definition of reproduction okay so what is reproduction reproduction means the process by which an individual produces young ones of its own kind is known as reproduction reproduction means okay when individual produces young ones okay that is reproduction now i will show you one picture now look at here here is this is mother plant okay now this mother plant okay produces young ones okay so this is called reproduction so now let's move on another topic now here after the definition of reproduction here the mode of reproduction in plants are broadly classified into two types okay and that is asexual okay and another one is sexual mode of reproduction so first of all we will learn about asexual mode of reproduction and later we will learn the sexual mode of reproduction okay so after this so here the definition okay now what is asexual mode of reproduction so first of all we will understand the what is asexual mode of reproduction okay so now look here now in this type of reproduction the plant reproduces without the involvement of seeds so in this in in this type of reproduction okay the plant reprodu reproduces without the involvement of seed okay so here basically here is no role of seeds okay so after this new individual is produced from a single parent as a result of this the offspring produced is identical to the parent it has the same inherited character as the parent plant now look at here new individual is produced okay that means the uh, here the new individual is produced from a single parent okay now as a result of this the offspring the offspring means the baby plant okay the baby plant which is produced from the mother plant is identical that means it is similar to the mother plant okay the mother plant have the same character okay as well as the daughter plant also have the same character or baby plant have the same character as the mother plant okay so now we'll move on another now here look at here here is one mother plant okay so now this mother plant produces the young ones okay now this baby plant is also the similar or this baby plant have the similar character as the mother plant okay so this is called the inherited character so now look at here now after here a sexual mode of reproduction now your plan adopt different matter for our sexual reproduction now these methods are spore formation fragmentation budding and vegetative reproduction okay so these are the different method for our sexual reproduction so which are spore formation fragmentation budding and vegetative reproduction so now we will study one by one okay so first of all we will learn about spore formation so now look at here now spore formation means plants such as ferns and mosses in especially in hilly areas have spore production structure on leaves called shori now the spore are tiny usually single celled or sexual reproductive units and are surrounded by a tough coat for protection in mosses the spores are produced in a structure called capsule while in ferns they are produced in shori present on leaves called sporophylls now look at here first of all okay first of all now look at here this picture okay now this picture is this plant is called fern okay so after this this is also the fern plant so now look at here here is the dot like structure okay now this dot like structure is called spores okay so this is also the fern so now this one circle like structure is called this is the spore which is produced by the fern plant okay so now here after that when spore mature okay so whenever you can see here this spore okay whenever this spore become mature after the shori burst okay that means burst and release them into the air okay now look at here whenever this spore 
mature that means it will be mature and after that it will be burst like this okay now look at here this is that this is the microscope image okay of that spore now look at here now this is uh, after the mature okay it will burst and it will spread by the air okay and it will fall in down here and it will grow your new baby plant like this now here is one fun plant okay now the spore of this plant will goes here okay by the current of air and it will grow your again new baby plant okay so here whenever the spore comes in contact with the suitable substratum where enough moisture is present they germinate to give rise to young plant fungi fungi such as rhizopus or bread mold also reproduce by forming spore okay and another one the, uh, from the example of fungi okay such as rhizopus rhizopus is the example of fungi okay or rhizopus rhizopus also called bread mold okay so it also reproduce by forming spore okay so one second look at here this is fern plant and uh, in back side of this plant there is spore okay now it will this spore will mature and after the after that it will whenever it will become mature and it will become uh, burst by the air okay and in, it will be falling down in the uh, area or in surface okay where they germinate again okay or reproduce young ones so after this another one okay now we already learn spore for spore formation okay so after that it is fragmentation so this all are the uh, asexual reproduction okay so your fragmentation means a green algae such as spirogyra first first of all i will show you the algae that is spirogyra okay now look at here now this is the image of spirogyra okay this is an algae now look at here you have seen this one okay so this is the upper layer in this spore okay this is the spirogyra and this is the type of algae so now a green algae such as spirogyra is this clear spirogyra now after this it will grow in water bodies such as ponds okay and it form a film on the surface water called pond scum okay now this is called the pond scum okay so after now look at here it reproduces by breaking its fragmentation body into two or more parts after a certain period of growth each fragment then grows into type of uh, a sexual reproduction it's called fragmentation fragmentation means what fragmentation means fragment okay pieces fragment means what pieces small pieces there uh, are now this spirogyria will break down into filamentous body okay that means there is two or more filamentous body it will break down after that a certain period of growth each fragment then grow into a new type okay new type of plant look at here this is the fragment okay now look at here this is one microscopic pictures of spirogyria algae now look at here here you can see the fragment 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 okay like this one this is one fragment this is one fragment okay so it is called filamentous body now look at here this this fragment will break down okay into two or more types now after that this each fragment will grow into new plant okay this is called fil, uh, fragmentation here it is vegetative reproduction okay or uh, we also call vegetative propagation uh, that means vegetative reproduction is also called vegetative propagation is this clear so now look at here when a new plant is produced from the vegetative parts of a plant such as leaves stems and roots it is it is called vegetative reproduction or propagation vegetative propagation means when a new plant is produced from the vegetative parts first of all vegetative parts means like leaves okay roots and stems are the vegetative parts of plant is this clear vegetative parts means leaves stem and roots these are called vegetative parts of plant now when when a new plant is produced from the vegetative parts that means whenever we cut this stem okay for example rose plant 
if we cut the stem of rose plant and we grow in another okay so it will grow there okay so that is called the vegetative reproduction or whenever new plant will grow from the roots if we cut the root of one plant okay then it will grow a new plant okay so that is called the vegetative reproduction and the vegetative reproduction reproduction also take place from the leaves of stem okay so in some underground stem such as potato and ginger now look at here potato okay now potato is a stem okay potato is a, not a root it is a stem and another example ginger ginger also stem reproduction take place in the following way now see here now here it is potato potato is a slow and underground stem modified to store food okay now it is soil slow and now it is why because it is store food okay so it is also called potato tuber so potato is also called potato tuber okay so potato tuber has bud bud means you can see your picture okay this is a this this structure this structure is called tuber okay sorry this is called bud now bud or bud or eyes it is also called eyes look at here you can see your picture okay now that grow into a new plant now this bud will grow into a new plant okay <clears throat> so if a, if we cut a potato with an eye or it is planted under the soil it grow into a new plant if we cut this eye or bud okay and we plant it separately then it will grow into a new plant okay so this is the by stem okay reproduction take place by stem so after this so here it is onion okay so onion is a type of modified shoot so it is also the now onion onion is modified shoot okay so it has a bulb with thick succulent leaves such as bulbs are capable of producing new bulb with the help of buds so there is also bulb is present okay buds is present in onion okay and from that buds new plant will grow okay so after that rhizome now here a new word rhizome is an underground stem with scaly leaves buds and roots ginger and turmeric are the example of such rhizomes that means rhizome rhizome means rhizome means ginger okay ginger and turmeric now look at your figure this is one example of rhizome that is ginger now this is ginger now look at here this portion is called scale leaf okay now this is scale leaf and your finger like projection okay your finger like projection is called bud okay and these are the node okay and you can see your root like structure which is called adventitious root okay and this is called internode so ginger ginger is a modified shoot okay so after this now reproduction take place vegetative reproduction take place through leaves okay so now generally leaves do not help a plant to reproduce but in few cases they do so plant such as bryophyllum now you can see the uh, picture this plant is called bryophyllum okay and bryophyllum can reproduce by growing some plantlets now you can see here okay this is the leaf and you can see here in the margin there is the structure okay round, round one structure this is, this is called plantlets okay this is called plantlets present at the end of the leaf margin and this is called the leaf margin okay so it uh, this plantlets is present at the leaf margin and this plantlets fall on the soil and grow into a new plant what happened here now this plant layer okay will fall on the soil okay after falling on the soil and it will grow into a new plant